We are applicants of, of asylum um, in Dublin, Ireland. We reside in um, the address hotel located at Amen Street in Colony. Yeah, we are just appealing to the to the government um, compassionately um, as regards um, the feeding and the treatment of asylum applicants here in the address colony. Yeah, um, we we are we, we have a little grievance concerning what is going on. The treatment is quite unfair. Um, over here, we cannot assess uh, our social workers like other other people do. Um, we cannot also um, assess the basic amenities here too. Um, the feeling is nothing to talk about because it's as if we are being tr treated like prisoners. We are only here to um, because of what happened, because of our situation, and we should not be put in, into into this kind of. This kind of situation, if if, if um, uh, uh, we just want the government to please come to our aid to help us address the issues that have been have been raised by other Africans. Some people are saying the foods are unhealthy. Some people are saying there's no medical registrations. Some people are saying um, the, the PPS cards are delayed. Some people are saying the, um, the hotel is not hospitable. We just want. Um, the government to take this into cognizance and please grant our request. We are grateful. Thank you. Work permit as well. The work permit is a very, very big Serious. problem to us. Serious. We are having a mental health with this yeah. work permit. Yeah. They don't allow us to work. They don't allow us to contribute in tax. They really don't want. They want us to rely on the 38 euro, which is How? To be its How? To, you didn't cover the 38, 38 euro. euro. I was earning more than 38 euro. I don't know for 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 a day or how long. But I I really didn't come for 38 euro. You cannot refuse me a work permit. You cannot cage me in the direct provision for me to starve and being and being killed of hunger. Mm. You cannot do that. You are an Irish, yes, but you cannot cage me. I have rights as soon as I land yeah. on my flight. Yeah. I had all those rights. You have to give me those rights. You don't have to let me die of hunger because I have my own hands. Mm. I can work. I was working for all of 30-something years mm. in my own country. I was working. I had all. I had it all. But you cannot bring me here and be poor for me to be poor. I don't eat 38 euro in an hour. You give me that 38 euro. We don't rely on 38 euro. Viva! Viva! Another person? We need another person to speak. Now they've been told they're not allowed to form a ghetto on Mount Street, but their government are quite happy they can form a ghetto out in the country, away from the prying eyes of the mainstream media in Dublin, and what they thought is out of sight and out of mind, but they're just going to another town or village in Ireland. Wherever a large group of young, unvetted males go, you will have an increase in crime. That's experience in Sweden, in Germany, in Italy, and France. Every single fucking one of them, all weird and black, all of them from fucking wherever. Every single fucking one of them. What the fuck is going on?